So in the last video, I started a competition. The person who could guess the closest to the value of my loot tab by paying very close attention to the drops throughout the video, which I hope you guys were doing because it would have actually increased your odds and chances of getting the correct number significantly. So first things first, let's take a look at how much the bank is valued at right now. And according to Runelight, the bank is currently a whopping 424 mil, not including the scales and dart blowpipe and also the trident in the swamp and the runes in the rune pouch. However, I'm not going to take them out. We can guess them. It's somewhere around 425 to 430 mil bank value, which is insane. That means we're almost close to halfway of our overall final goal. And finally, moving on to the loot tab. Now, before you guys get seriously excited, brace yourselves. The loot tab is currently 163 mil, 532k, 386 gold. Look at this friggin' loot tab. This is incredible. We're almost at 200 mil right now in the loot tab alone. And we have all of these rare uniques, loads of small little drops that you get from demonic gorillas and from slayer tasks I've been doing. I mean, we've got 65 pairs of rune plate legs and 75 rune plate skirts. The loot tab is beautiful right now. I have seen how much the bank is valued at right now. The only two items which weren't in the loot tab, which should have been, which were in the regular tab, were the law runes and the abyssal whip. So I am going to go ahead. I'm going to sell everything i have in here save the rares till last and we're gonna see exactly how much this sells for first inventory salt 8 mil 500k second inventory salt a whopping 27 mil this is gonna be the money one boys Woo! look at those light shards as you guys can see everything is sold apart from the two hilts right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab the hilts out and with the money we've made selling the, the loot tab so far i'm gonna buy two god sword blades so that's going to be pretty much a solid mill coming out of the loot tab. However, I should be able to get that back once I combine it with the two hilts. The Zamora God Sword and the Armadillo God Sword. Two very epic items. And now when I drop them into the loot tab, hopefully they're going to sell for around their sale price. So let's go ahead. Here goes nothing. How much did we make? Let's have a look. 100 and 64 mil and the exact price check for that loot tab was 164 mil 293k and 256 gold look at that cash stack right there that is incredible so whoever's down in the comment section that guessed either the exact amount or the closest to this is the winner and i will announce the winner at the very end of today's video as you guys can probably tell the bank is at a very very solid point in this account's history we've got a 421 mil bank here that is a lot of money that i can do a lot of really cool stuff with so at the moment i have 165 mil cash stack which is absolutely beautiful for short-term goals right now i know that i want to get myself 95 slayer at the bare minimum i'm more than likely going to get 99 on this account but for now i just want to be able to unlock hydra and i want to give it a blast i have never killed this boss before and i know that it has some insanely rare drops and i also want to start doing some raids and i want to learn how to do some solo raids now to be able to do that obviously my stats are in dire need of improvement i need to get my farming up i need to get my construction up slightly and most importantly i need to get my herb lore to i believe level 76 so i expect a good couple of tens of mils from this cash stack right here will be going towards improving my stats so i can start doing better money makers and the rest of the money will more than likely go on to gear which i can use to do raids one and also a goal on this account i've had for quite a long time is to get myself the infernal cape and right now with the stats we currently have i am more than confident in our ability to do so and i've not done an infernal cape since like the second week that it was released it's been a long time and i'm gonna be using the acp to get it as well so should be very interesting that is the end of that task i decided to finish up the very few kills i had remaining here in the chasms of fire 118 necreals that is some nice xp though very nice that is another tuckle jad 340 000 slayer xp i am in desperate need of these easy tasks right now i just got 40k from that necreal task this is pretty much going to be almost 80k slayer xp in an hour that is another tuckle jad slain 32 minutes man a couple minutes off our personal best there with a bonus 25 000 slayer xp look at that we're already down below the 700k almost at 600 
Very, very nice. Hello there. That is a task I am talking about. 182 Dagonoff King. Hopefully with our RNG right now, we'll be able to get a very easy 10 mil trip. Hey, hey, there we go, boys. The very first drop of the trip. This hero's ring, I will happily take it. That is a nice 350k. The RNG is currently with us. That is the second Dragon Axe, the third rare unique. I did actually record the first one because it's a 38k drop. And in fact, I'm not going to record this one either. This clip will never make it into the video. The RNG has continued from the last episode. That is our fourth rare unique this trip. Unfortunately, we've not had the expensive unique so far, but I'm thinking with 112 kills to go, we might get lucky. Hello there. Right, it's been quite some time since we've seen a drop. 31 KC to go, the second Sears ring of the task. Very, very nice. Cheeky 350k. I will take it. Hey, there we go. Oh, that is exactly what I want to see. And I've only got like 10 left. 4.3 mil for the Archer's Ring right now, fellas. Very, very nice. And if you're curious why I'm barraging the Rexes to death, I had like 200 charges on the Trident when I first got here. So unfortunately, I've been having to use a lot of blood and death runes. But hey-ho, that Archer Ring and these other two rings have guaranteed profit from this task. So that is the task completed. I would say a very successful task. And that's a very nice 5.6 mil. Just in time to buy myself a bond uh, because my membership runs out in four hours time. So that is spot on. And as predicted, did we just got kicked out of our fire giant task feels bad man it's not even 12 o'clock it's 9 p.m why would i lose membership like an hour later it makes zero sense at all luckily we planned ahead and we do have the old old school runescape bond in the bonk right there let me redeem it for 14 days thank you 133 smoke devils to kill uh i actually have no idea where smoke devils are in game right now since they moved them from being in this cave like a couple years ago <laughs> that's a really nice task to get where the fuck are they i've had to look up a guide to uh find out where they relocated these and apparently well this map sucks Apparently they've relocated it just over here. There's a cave entrance. And apparently this is where the smoke devils are. So let's have a little peek. And here we are. I had literally zero idea that they were in this area. So, and obviously the boss room is going to be here. But we will not be doing the boss room. Because there isn't really a drop that I'm looking for from the boss. So yeah. These are supposed to be some incredible XP per hour. I remember they were absolutely insane. So I have reset my Slayer XP. So I have no XP gained right now. And we're going to see how much xp we get from 133 of these and i have brought myself the bracelet of slaughter to hopefully receive more kills on this task very nice magic level coming in there 97 magic two levels away from level 99 made oh that is so nice to see <laughs> i've pretty much got that entire level right there along with most of the other levels purely through bursting these slayer tasks when i can get that is only two levels away from our next 99 radio so if you guys were curious how much xp i got that task we only got ourselves 30k xp however as you can see we are on over 76k slayer xp an hour from that task absolutely sensational that is epic i'm so glad that i've unlocked such a great task right there as a Cerberus task i'm gonna take 35 kills which that's a decent amount you might see ourselves a crystal or two go and test our luck as you might be able to tell from the gear right now i'm gonna be trying out the melee method at Cerberus. so far i've done a lot of kills through range with the blowpipe and i do have max strength now minus the infernal cape and the avernic defender so i thought i may as well go ahead and just see what the difference is in kills because when i was doing range i was getting roughly between six to nine kills per trip and i honestly don't know what it's going to be like in melee but i imagine the cost is going to be a lot less there we go boys that is a very nice attack level coming in very unexpected and 118 combat two levels away from the big 120. Very, very nice. Thank God. That is 331 Cerberus kills. We are yet to have any of the crystals. We've had two smoldering stones, but we're yet to have any of the crystals from this boss. However, I am a firm believer of RNG. That is a, uh, a very interesting, very interesting boss task. I think I'll do one run at the barrows. I get myself some bonus XP. So let's go and test our luck at one barrow's chest. Imagine if you actually got lucky as well. Quite the refreshing break. The usual tedious slayer tasks. So I think that was a bonus 5,000 XP right there. I will take it. Can we get a drop 
on the one barrier's chest. Let's have a look. Not good day. Ho ho ho, that is what I'm talking about, boys. 129 more Cerberus to kill. And hopefully this time we can get ourselves a crystal. Hey, there we go. The very first crystal, the eternal one. All right, that's not a bad crystal to get. 404 KC for the very first crystal in the account. That is a beautiful looking one right there. 3.2 mil. Certainly better than the Pagasian. I will happily take it. Task completed. 460 Cerberus KC. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to get the Primordial or any more Uniques this time. But as you can see, this is all the loot that we had. This is done over two days. This isn't capturing the other half of the trip. But considering we only got the one Crystal with no other rare Unique, I'd say we probably made roughly 6 mil. A very, very nice Slayer level coming in. 94 Slayer. That is Fantastic. I believe that was 700,000 Slayer XP from level 93 to level 94. And we are only 820,000 XP. I say only. That is a shit ton of XP away in Slayer. That is a very nice level to get. And hopefully it won't take too long to get from level 94 to 95 because I am eager to start slaying some Hydra. And hopefully our luck and RNG will transfer over and we will become incredibly rich killing some hydra bosses so unfortunately over the last couple of days the servers have been absolutely abysmal for the entire weekend i couldn't really do any boss tasks the only boss that i did this weekend was cerberus i believe i killed probably roughly 200 of them I managed to get the eternal crystal which wasn't too bad but believe it or not between level 93 and 94 i haven't had a single black demon task and i've also not had an aviancy task the only other slayer task i've had has been greater demons now i am not going to be killing greater demons with the lag experience over the last week killing greater demons with range in the first place it's not exactly the funnest thing to do in the world and on top of that with the lag that we've been experiencing i effectively skipped the boss task and just killed greater demons chasms of fire so this video has pretty much just been a case of me selling the loot tab and gaining myself a shed ton of xp which i'm not too fussed about to be honest from level 93 to 94 probably one of the fastest slayer levels i've done in the 90 range because usually i'm doing all of the black demon tasks oh superior throw whereas this time around i haven't i haven't been able to because the lag has been unbearable it seems that they fixed the servers here uh i don't know about the rest of you if you guys are from america uh, you have to let me know i would say australia but we all know that the australia servers suck regardless of what's happening thank god it looks like the servers have had some maintenance done to them and it looks like we will be able to accept any of the boss tasks that we get now in the future and let's have a look what we can get from this nuclear smoke devil anything good let's have a look rune jade body okay as you can see right now, the bank is still currently a whopping 420 mil. It has gone down slightly. I have been using a lot of cannonballs for this Slayer level, and also I've been bursting a shed ton. So effectively, I haven't made all too much money this video. However, the loot tab right now is still looking pretty healthy. It's a 15 mil. I've got the uh, the Archer's Ring I got from the DKs at the beginning. A few other drops. Little bits and bobs from killing net creoles and whatnot. We also have ourselves the Eternal Crystal down here, which is only a 3 mil drop, I believe, but it's still... The first crystal i've had on the account so i'm very very happy to have it so the moment that you guys have all been waiting for the giveaway winner from the last video so in the last video i asked you guys to make a guesstimate of how much the loot tab was worth and i have selected three potential winners right now of winning the grand sum of money in favor of the decimal point so instead of just rounding it up to the nearest mill They've put the time and effort to try and actually calculate exactly how much the loot tab is worth. Coming in third place, Optimus dies, 164,370k. Second place going to Anthony Arroy with 164,331k. And finally, the winner of today's competition with the closest guesstimate going to Martin Van Dugin, 164 mil. 265k and 138 gp leaving him only 28,118 gold from the exact price check of the loot tab now unfortunately martin hasn't left his runescape name so i am going to give him until the end of the week until friday to respond to me with his runescape name preferably on the comment that he left on the initial video and unfortunately if he doesn't get back to me by then i am regrettably gonna have to give the money 
the runner-up. And if you're wondering how I'm going to select the right Martin, because inevitably there are going to be a lot of people making that YouTube account, trying to get themselves a free 164 mil, I have subscribed to the legit winner here on YouTube, so it will be very easy for me to identify the true winner. Now, unfortunately, this video hasn't been the most exciting video of mine so far. There's been a lack of bossing throughout this video simply because the servers have been way too laggy for me to even consider going to many of the bosses across RuneScape. You guys know what it's like at me, Armadillo, when the servers aren't lagging at all. We still lose a shed ton of chin, so I thought it was a good idea to try to avoid all of the bosses. But we did manage to get ourselves a whopping Slayer level from level 93 to 94, almost totaling to 8 hundred thousand slayer xp in this episode alone with all of that being said guys i do hope that you've enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you leave it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new to the channel and i will see you very soon